In this chapter, we are going to see how to find multiple elements with the help of Selenium. For example, till now, we have find only one element at a time. But there might be a situation where we have to handle multiple elements as well. Let me give you an example here. For example, uh, in our let code website, we have already covered input button, select, alert, frames, radio button, window handling. Now we are going to focus on this find elements. So let me get into that. And of course, we'll copy the URL first and we'll replace it here. And then what I have to do is basically we have to type our uh, GitHub username here. In my case, it's going to be Ottoni uh, Casey. And if I click on the search, it is going to wait for some time and then it is going to populate all the repository that I have. So I have almost like 42 repository, but by default, it's showing only 30 and that is fine. Okay. Now we are going to print all this 30 repository in our console. Now, if I have to uh, find one by one, that will definitely take much time, right? But I can find everything in a single shot and I can uh, do some action on that. Okay. So let us see how to do that. So first we'll just inspect this guy. So uh, right click and inspect and we are going to use the latex path and it has a unique, unique tag name called input or also it has a unique name called uh, username. So we'll just go with the username and we'll, we are going to use the send case function here. So let me copy and uh, paste over here. And here we have to pass our username that's going to be Ottoni, Ottoni KC. Okay, that's my GitHub profile name. Okay. And then what we are going to do is we are going to uh, click on the search button, right? We can click on the search button or else we can also uh, do something like enter. Let's see how to do the enter here. Okay. So here I'm going to say comma and then I'm going to say keys dot enter. So if you remember already we talked about like how to use the keys dot tab. Similarly, here we are going to type the key dot enter. Now you have to notice one thing. When I do the search, it's going to... Uh, uh, for example, if I click on the search or the enter, you can see that it's going to bring up some uh, loading, right? So let me remove this guys. And if I click on this, you can see some loading is basically coming, right? But um, to handle that loading, of course, we have the WebDriver weight concept. We'll see that in maybe upcoming chapters. As of now, uh, I'm just going to ignore that one, okay? And I'm going to find all the elements, okay? So I'm going to say Autonic Casey. And here, all the elements are there, right? So let's go and inspect one first. And if, if you see here, everything is within the li tab, right? I mean tag, not the tab, tag, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say like double slash li. And here you can see that we have like almost like 35, right? So we have like 35, but 30 is the only thing we want. Others are basically this li. So we don't want that li we wanted only this one right so what we can do is um okay so we'll write based on the parent class so here we can see that we have a box so i'm just going to copy this six path first and then i'm going to say li okay uh, slash li double slash li okay now we can see we got only the 30 so we are interested on this 30 element let's see how to get the text of all the 30 element right so here i'm going to say driver dot find elements uh we are using only the elements now we are going to use the find elements and we are going to use the x path okay so find elements so if you notice carefully here we have the s plural right that means it's going to find number of elements more than one number of elements and that's going to return me list of web elements so i will name this like links all the links okay now from all the links, I can use the for each or the for it later so that I will get one web element at a time. I will say this like link. Okay, So this is links plural and this is link singular, right? That is how programming convention basically. If you are going to get something multiple, just make it as plural or just make it as a uh, singular form. Okay. Now I'm going to print the text. So sys out and I'm going to say link dot uh, get text basically, right? So to grab the text of the URL, right? So if I say uh, get text, I will get it from the A tag. Okay, so if I, uh, you might ask me, Kaushik, you are targeting the LI, but the text is within the A tag. How does it going to give us? It's very simple. If I target the parent within that, whatever the text is there, it will give us automatically. Let me show you and confirm, right? But as I said earlier, when I give the enter, uh, it will not work because it has a, some loading loading thing, right? So it will load and then it will, it will give us. 
let me show you that as of now um, if you got some error we are going to use the thread dot sleep concept that is from java but later on we'll change that to maybe like a web wait condition so if i go here you can see we are not getting anything because uh, this element is not there now here is the interesting question if there is no element it should um, throw a throw an exception as no such frame exception right but why it doesn't throw an exception here because find element find elements does not throw exception it will just make the size as zero and here we are just targeting the loop so loop will never work because we have zero elements if it's more than one then only the loop is going to work correct so in that case we won't get any exception uh, i hope that is clear for you okay now we are going to use thread dot sleep and i'm going to wait for maybe like uh, three seconds okay so i'm expecting three seconds to wait okay this thread dot sleep is basically your um from java not from the selenium api it's from the java now uh, once i write this of course i have to handle the interrupted exception i'll just add throws declaration as of now what is this and why we are using if you know java that's fine if you do not know probably you have to learn the exception handling concept okay now let's go and right click and run as java application i have all this video in tamil language where i have explained everything in detail like from the java from the selenium everything entirely right so if you are interested or if you know tamil probably i will recommend you to watch those videos rather than this because in this particular series i am covering only the selenium functions whereas in my tamil series i have covered all the java concept then i move to the selenium concept okay okay now let's go and see the output here so here you can see we got all the http the links basically right so that's it pretty much cool right so this is how we have we can use the find elements so when we have to use find elements in the sense if we have to interact with multiple elements or if we have to get some values of multiple values then we have to use the multiple find elements in that scenario okay other than that we will also use this in our web table concept that we are going to discuss in the next chapter